guys so welcome back to another episode of city skylines last episode what we worked on was a few things we got this uh train done it's hard to see at night but there, it's really nice looking it has got rocks and a whole bunch of other stuff we worked on this little area and we did some stuff with the farming however i want to work on a few other things today mostly our industry areas um, actually, you know what? We haven't, uh, worked on that amusement park. Um, where was that amusement park? I think it's over here. Nope. Um, I'm not sure where I put it, actually. I think it was somewhere over on this side, but I remember seeing it yesterday, but I can't remember where it was. It's too dark to really see anything. I thought it was over here, but it doesn't appear to be uh did we really put it in the other one? well it should have like three stars so if we look for the stars it should um indicate where it is i think it might be this one nope that's that na nature reserve oh where did i put it over here no four stars no it can't be four stars Oh boy, I, 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 how, how can I lose a park? I have no idea how I was able to manage to do that. But I know I built it. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, so it's on the mainland. Uh, actually, no, it isn't. Um, this is the mainland, isn't it? So that means... Wait, I'm confused. No, that's the that's that second area. This is where we started, so... And we should have that other park somewhere around here, right? So let's uh, go ahead and add some extra buildings for here, and hopefully we can get up to level 5. I'm not sure how much money it's making us. Not entirely too much. But at level 5, we might be able to get more. And I think that's mainly because a lot of people aren't actually cutting through to get to the other side and stuff. So um, it just is, really. It's just visitors coming into the park and stuff. If you make it so... They have to cut through an area to go through your park then you make a lot of money but um giving that your prices are reasonable so let's go to the parks and then we'll go to the amusement park setting we'll see what kind of options we have so i'm not sure what we place down uh, looks like we got the teacups a uh, little piggy thing Bumper cars. I don't think we have bumper cars yet.
And so uh, I noticed that we're importing actually a lot of oil. So I wanted to see if we can't upgrade some of these wells. And at the moment they're pulling out just about 5,000 units per week. So let's see what we have for options for that. I know that we have a small oil rig. I'm not sure if there's any other ones. Uh, crude oil storage. We have one of those already. Uh, let's see here. How much does this produce? 6,000. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, 6,400. Uh, how much would we get? 6,400. So, um... We'll leave those ones in, I think. And we'll set up a dirt road. Going... If I can find the dirt road, I'm not sure where the dirt road is. I guess we have the back here. Alright, and then we'll do that like a back road during going going down that direction. So we'll go like I guess we'll connect it up to here. We can make a turnaround point. And we'll make some small branch offs. Um I'm not sure how many it's about three blocks, right? So we'll see if we can't make a uh, three block area and we'll design the roads into that. So oh, that's dirt path. I don't want a dirt path. I want a dirt road. Uh, let's see here. So we'll go down. Okay, I'm going to turn off those uh, snapping tools. And we'll see if we can't go down. Let's see, that's three, so we want to go up four. Bring it up to there, I guess. And then we want like six, so. Uh, probably about here. might actually be the right amount perfect all right so that will be our area for here and we'll bring this out a little bit more and then connect that up so they have a direct line over here and we can maybe make a branch off right here so they can turn around maybe one over here as well and put a few of these wells in or what are they called small drilling rig so
notice this. There is a uh, whole bunch of water going up the hill and through the rocks, and then it comes down on the other side over here. Uh, I think it's a bug or something, but I'm just like looking at it. I, I did some terrain work over here, and I was working on like putting a small beach in. Eventually, it'll um, change the color. The water used to be all the way up to here, so it should turn back to greenery over time. And then I put some of the cliffs in in this section because I wanted to do something similar to this. And then I was looking over over here and I'm like, like looking at the water. I'm going, is that water going up the hill? And yeah, water apparently has no gravity. So it just goes right up the hill and right over to the other side. I just found it kind of funny because uh, I was just wandering around. I don't know if it's like that on other places. Looks like most of the other ones are fine. Yeah, I don't see any other problems with the other ones. Just that one cliff there. <laughs> it's funny. It's probably because there's so many rocks there. Alright, so what I wanted to do was basically put some rocks in this area and some rocks in this area. And then what we could do is we could um, decorate it a little bit more. So, let's see if we can't do that. So, be some of these ones with some of these bolder ones and probably around here try to get it nice and tight with the uh, rail system there Use some of these ones as well that's a nice big one okay so that should look good there I'll bring that up a little bit more so it's like that I guess and then we can fill the rest in with some trees and stuff um, what trees do we want to use because there's a lot of the uh, we were using pine and spruce over here or whatever these are conifer one and pine so figure what we'll do is we'll probably keep it consistent now this is all farmland so uh, we might not want to put too many trees in this area. Because it will change the um, fertility. But we could definitely place some around the edges and stuff. And basically, what I want to do with this area.
alrighty then. So I got this little resort uh, basically put in. It's only a mountain resort. I don't know if there is a uh, resort for um, spa resort, ocean resort. So the, yeah, there is the ocean resort. Uh, Heritage Hotel, Deluxe Hotel, and Design Hotel. So this was probably the best choice for what we wanted for this little area. It's a little uh, mountain resort. And it requires a couple commercial buildings, some pretty much a little bit of everything. So I put some of these ones in from the pedestrian way, and I'm hoping that it will um, look fine for the the height and everything like that. I'm not sure about the um, office buildings over on this side. We might have to change that up a little bit later on, but. Um, I also put down some tourist park, a sidewalk cafe, some parking lot, and up here what I want to do is basically develop this as a small uh, small little town, residential town mostly, uh, which will hopefully keep this area um, in production for um, like business and stuff like that because these are historical buildings so they don't update. And I'm just worried that if I keep them like that, then it will, um, they'll basically go out of business if there's not enough workers and stuff. So I want to make sure that there's uh, enough people around here to be, be able to work at all these places. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next episode. But if you're in new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.